Okay, Coach Beecher, Cedar Point Duels. Uh, you guys, Archbold, right? Like to get a little summer wrestling in. Yep. Uh, state champ this year, by the way. We did. Yep. And a hammer weight, by the way. That's nice. That's right? always nice to have. Hammer weight, 182 pounds. How do you guys build off of that for your team? Getting here in the summer, wrestling some duels against some Ohio teams, some Michigan teams. Yeah, you know, obviously now is just giving them back time. You know, we're not worried about necessarily results of dual meets, but just getting the kids out there and getting as much mat time as we can against other guys. Um, you know, we're working out a couple times a week with open mats, and, you know, to get some competition in addition to the open mats is always nice for the kids as opposed to just being in the room every day. When you look at this event, you come into this facility. We're in the back, Jim. Yeah, the facility's phenomenal. You know, we run a big tournament at Defiance College, you know, on 12 mats. So um, that first thing when I get in here, you know, I'm counting like how many mats you can get in the place. You know, if all opened up, I'm guessing it could be close to 30 mats in this place. You know, it's an amazing facility. You know, I'm sure um, it'll grow, you know, over time. You know, just the current situation, you know, with COVID, you know, kind of killed them last year by not having the event and then hurt a little bit in this year, I'm sure, as well. So, and Jerry just always runs such fantastic events, so I'm sure that he'll be growing at him and Jude will do a good job, and we'll, it'll be really big here in a couple of years, I'm sure. How does Archbold stay relevant how you are? You always got guys, always guys vying for titles. State champ, it looks like about every other year, right? You had a champ in 21, you had a champ in 18, I believe, is what he told me in the interview. Yeah. You guys have, you guys have a champ every other year. You're relevant every other year, every year. You're competitive every year. How do you do it with such a small school and a small community? You know, it's hard. You know, Chuck Ford obviously built the program at Archbold. You know, I think he started there in 73. You know, we've only had two head coaches since 1973, so I think that helps Just out. Just you and Chuck. Yeah, that's it. That's amazing. Know? So, you know, having, you know, that continuity within the program, you know, we've had a lot of the same guys coming back. You know, it's become a community thing. You know, Archbold's really a white-collar town, so, you know, wrestling isn't – it's more thought of as a blue collar sport so um it's a little hard at first getting kids to buy in but they put in the time and they see the other kids having the success makes a big difference too you know we've got a really good youth program right now we've got a, a great guy running our youth program who was a state runner up for us uh noah matt and you know a little plug for him there um and he just does a great job and you know we get a lot of family support almost every one of our kids their parents are here watching you know which is big so having that support within the community um, helps out, you know. And, and we, we've been a little down in terms of dual meets, but it seems as though we always get judged by our performance at the end of the year. And I tell the kids, you know, as long as you have a couple kids doing really well at the state meet, you know, that will say a lot about your program. So, And we've got one kid right now that's not here today. He's wrestling on the um, Ohio dual team. So he's uh, at a camp this weekend at Mike Matten's house. So um, he's going to be a tough kid for us next year. Brody Dominic, who plays as a freshman this year. So we're expecting big things out of him next year as a sophomore. When you look at this, is it? do you have other schools that are on your team as well as they're all Archibald kids? I brought, there's two kids, one of my really good friends from where I went to high school at Ayersville. Um, I brought his two sons with me. They work out at my house. Um, they been at my house this week uh, working out and stuff with me so we had spots at their weight so we brought them along and then uh we brought uh carson chisa from delta as well because we had an open spot there so aren't you we, guys like enemies yeah you know enemies i guess uh when we're wrestling in a dual meet we definitely don't like each other you know but our, our coaching staffs you know we get along really well and stuff so um you know and the better that they get the better we get you know so um it's kind of like it, 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 you see it in all the leagues you know the leagues that are tough um those NWAL, guys right yeah NWAL. You, know, NWAL, you know with with Wallace Young and delta liberty center and us you know we've got our four teams that really push each other you know no different than you know the spc you know they've got the same thing and those schools push each other to make each other better awful news about the spc oh carver leaving the spc i'm sad yeah, I'm sad. I want my nephews to compete in the SBC, and now they're going to the NBC, I think. Yeah, they're, they're I'm wrestling. sad. I'm Coaches not happy can't about be it. I'm very happy about no, that. I, I'm not. Know? I'm not. Because the yeah. SBC, like you know, like NWOL, it's a really good league. Yeah, so. you know, it just pushes you to be better, you know. And then what you, – because you know that the, that push throughout the league all year long and the league tournament, it makes you better for the state tournament series, you know. And when you get to that, as long as you're not wrestling head-to-head, -head, you're cheering for those other people because it's a good representation for your league at the end of the year. So, but I mean, if we're wrestling head to head, you know, th those are the matches we want to win more than than any of the other matches because that's bragging rights, you know. So, um, it, it just helps you get better when you have other teams in your league that are doing extra work too. All right, you guys are coming up soon. I know you're resting right now, but 
Got anything else for me? No, we're good. Thanks a lot for putting the time you do. Thank you for the time. I appreciate you guys. Good luck. Is it Blue Streaks? What is it? We are Blue Streaks. Blue Streaks. Go yep. Blue Streaks, and good luck to you guys moving forward. Thanks. Appreciate it.